So, um, welcome to this video series on um, a beginner's guide to generative arts using processing and in our previous video we learned how to set up processing in our computer and in this video we're going to dive right into the coding steps now. Uh, this is our first video uh, you know regarding coding steps so we're not going to go right in you know the whole advanced steps and all those things we're just going to stick to the basic things and we're just going to you know discuss about the beginners steps that we need to we need to know in order to begin our journey of you know um, becoming a generative artist so in this video we're going to we're going to discuss about two of the most important uh, functions in processing that is the um, set of function and the a draw function now bear with me and let's just discuss about these two functions in brief now the setup function is the first function that is that is called or essentially this is the first piece of code that is executed uh, when we start you know uh, when we start when we run a processing application and the draw function runs continuously it's basically a loop and as you might have already guessed that the loop this draw function which acts as a loop is what is used in order to create the whole animations and stuff like that so um, let's just get into the coding steps now uh, in order uh, to understand how the, the the setup and void function works uh, let's just uh, let's just get into the coding stuff so the void uh, the setup function as I've already said is executed once at the beginning so things that you don't need to do repeatedly are often uh, done inside of the setup function and things that you need to do continuously and in a loop for example setting up animations and steps that uh, those are the things that we write down inside of the draw function now in the setup function the first thing that we're going to write is this size function now this size function uh, uh, takes in parameters that is the width of the window that we want and uh, let's just set it for 400 and 400 for now and let's just run it okay so uh, we're gonna wait for so here is the window the windows the window has popped up and as you can see it is 400 by 400 that is 400 pixels uh, wide and 400 pixels um, uh, 400 pixels in height so uh, now you can obviously change the values and you can see the results so as I've already said this is 500 by 400 as you can see it is a little more wider than it is uh, than it is taller so these uh, this is the width and the height of the window now uh, what's next now let's just uh, uh, for instance let's just try to print something uh, on the console by the way this is called the console so print to learn uh, okay let's just uh, print something uh, let's print this is a setup and let's just print something inside of this print ln um, this is draw now if I run it as you can see um, the set of function this uh, the set of function will run only once so there's only one uh, you might not see here but there was only one this is set uh, the statement that that has been printed this is set up but the draw function is basically a loop so as you can see it is continuously being printed on the the console so with this example you might have already uh, you know might have already got uh, the idea of what the the setup function and the draw function does so this is uh, so let's just wrap this uh, video up for uh, for now and I hope you've got in a brief idea of what the setup and draw functions are in the next video we're going to go uh, a little uh, deeper into the topic and we're gonna discuss about the different shapes and you know the whole different things that you can do in processing So, uh, stay tuned and happy coding.